evening with an alarming setback in the fight against the National Defense Authorization Act as a federal court has just ruled in favor of indefinite detention of U.S. citizens. So the NDAA controversy continues. A federal appeals court ruled in favor of the Obama administration's blatantly unconstitutional law. They can once again detain anyone the government considers a threat forever. And I can imagine the look on some of our audience's faces right now, as many of you are probably thinking to yourselves, wait a minute, I thought that this uh, indefinite detention of U.S. citizens, I thought this provision was blocked permanently. So what the hell happened? Well, it was permanently blocked, beginning last month by a district judge who rightfully declared the law unconstitutional. You may recall that we... Well, we were all very happy to report a victory against the NDAA. Last month, District Judge Catherine Forrest said in her ruling, First Amendment rights have already been harmed and will be harmed by the prospect of the law being enforced. And she permanently blocked the NDAA provision. Permanently. Well, as it turns out, permanently, under the twisted Obama administration, equals about one month. And uh, wouldn't you know it, Obama moved to uh, appeal the decision the very next day and demanded that they reinstate the indefinite detention provisions. The administration characterized the ruling last month as unconstitutional. So once again, it feels like we are living in the twilight zone or perhaps George Orwell's 1984 because only in an Orwellian society would a president declare that a judge's block on indefinite detention of U.S. citizens to be considered unconstitutional. I mean, seriously, is there no end to the madness? And who were the judges who ruled in Obama's favor, might you ask? Well, all three of them were appointed to the appeals court by Obama himself. That's right. They granted the Obama administration what they call an emergency stay that temporarily blocks last month's ruling. The team of judges wrote in a three-page order to expedite the appeal. We consider that the public interest weighs in favor of granting the government's motion for a, for a stay. So according to these traitors of the republic, it looks like that uh, it's in the public's best interest, according to them, that the government can detain us without questioning, without due process, indefinitely. Way to go, guys. I mean, really, this looks like a domestic attack on the American people. When you look at this law, I mean, it can be used by authorities to forever detain anyone that the, the federal government considers to be a threat. You know, people uh, that, are, that are in different political groups, protesters, demonstrators, journalists, whistleblowers, you name it. This will go down in history as the end of due process.